welcome to bsc strategy students this is uh, uh, problem 1 i explain for test for proportion i explain some of the problems in the test for proportion this is problem 1 see what is the problem a dice is thrown 900 times and a phase of 3 or 5 is observed 335 times. Test whether the dice is unbiased. We have to test whether the dice is unbiased or not. How to recognize this is a problem of single proportion. You see here a dice is thrown 900 times that is n is equal to 900. And out of which uh, a phase of in the particular phase three or five points are observed 335 times. How many times it was observed? 335 times. That is uh, the number of times observed. How many number of times observed? It is x. Number of successes. Hence it is a proportion. It is a proportionate value. Out of 900, 335 times, uh, 3 points or 5 points are observed. Hence, it is a proportionate value. Proportionate value of success. If you consider getting 3 or 5 is a success, then the number of successes are 335. So, it, it represents random sample. So, it is a single sample problem because a dice is thrown 900 times that is n is equal to 900 therefore this is if you consider as a random sample the sample size is 900 therefore it is a single sample problem out of which out of 900 times thrown a particular dice three or four three or five are observed 335 times that is x is equal to 335 therefore if you write that it is also one more thing is also specified capital p is equal to probability of getting 3 or 5 is equal to 3 or 5 total number of points on the face of the dice is 6 3 or 5 are only the two particular possibilities 2 by 6 Therefore, it is 1 by 3. What is this? This represents the population. This, if the dice is unbiased, then uh, probability of getting 3 or 5 is 2 by 6. It's 1 by 3. This represents population. Population proportion. As in, our, in our terminology, it is population proportion. Therefore, capital Q is equal to 1 minus 1 by 3, 2 by 3. The null hypothesis, now we have to formulate four important points. Null hypothesis, alternative hypothesis, test a statistic under H0 and one more thing is comparison and conclusion. These are the four points. The point number one, null hypothesis. H0 P is equal to 1 by 3, capital P. It is always statement about population, remember, always remember. Null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis are certain statements about population, not of sample. Though, therefore, which must consist of capital P, mu, sigma square, etc. Now, here in this problem, capital P is equal to 1 by 3, that is, un dice is unbiased. In the null hypothesis, impartial statement our statement with null attitude is to be considered for this you refer the question in the problem the question is test whether the dice is unbiased if it is unbiased the capital p is equal to 1 by 3 that is the reason why we have specified here h naught p is equal to 1 by 3 the dice is unbiased one more thing i specify here for single proportion capital p value must be given Capital P value must be given for single proportion value, single proportion test. So, therefore, alternative hypothesis capital P is not equal to 1 by 3. 
that is dice is not unbiased null hypothesis if the null hypothesis is dice is unbiased then alternative is an against hypothesis a rival hypothesis for the null hypothesis that is null hypothesis is dice is unbiased therefore dice is not unbiased that is alternative hypothesis therefore there is no evidence to consider greater than or less than therefore we are considering always not equal to capital p is not equal to 1 by 3 that is dice is not unbiased if capital p is not equal to that is alternative hypothesis not equal to then the the tile of the test is two tile if it is greater than or less than it is one tile test alternative hypothesis decides whether the tile is uh, the test is one tile or two tile the test is one tile or two tile it is decided by alternative hypothesis if it is not equal to then the uh, test is two tile test and test is arising under h0 now h0 uh, if you consider small p you have to calculate small p value small p is equal to x by n that is 335 by 900 some value will get and uh, p naught is given therefore test statistic under h naught is that is equal to small p minus capital p naught divided by square root of p naught into q naught by n what is p naught it is 1 by 3 this is p naught and uh, therefore small p is equal to 335 by 900 minus p naught is 1 by 3 square root of divided by square root of 1 by 3 into 2 by 3 divided by 900 is equal to some value you calculate uh, this value you will get 2.326 therefore come to that it is better to write uh, comparison and conclusion or inference what is our comparison and conclusion modulus of z is equal to calculate first of all for the calculated value z you calculate modulus of z if it is negative then all even even also you have to consider modulus modulus of z is equal to 2.326 same positive now we have to consider tabulated value or significant value or critical value what is that of z is 5% for which you have to consider two particular points one level of significance two whether it is one tile or two tile tile of the test level of significance if it is not given you have to consider always five percent if it is given usually five percent or one percent will be given for two tile or one tile that the four values if you by heart if you remember then you can usually conduct this procedure so 5% level of significance we have considered since uh, that was not specified in the problem. Therefore, al always uh, we have to consider 5%. For two tile test, because it is in the alternative hypothesis, you simply refer that alternative hypothesis uh, not equal to, hence it is two tile. Therefore, by using uh, at the 5% level of significance and for two tile test, uh, the tabulated value z alpha is equal to 1.96 therefore comparison modulus of z is 2.326 and and z alpha is 1.96 therefore modulus of z is greater than z alpha therefore h naught is rejected if it is greater than h naught is rejected modulus of z is greater than z alpha h naught is rejected that therefore h naught is rejected means we have to accept the alternative hypothesis h1 what is h1 the dice is not unbiased that is uh, whatever the experiment is uh, experiment is conducted uh, that is not is going to be considered as uh, uh, unbiased dice that is dice is not unbiased that is our conclusion thank you